we'll get confirmation that we're live hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream second live stream for today and today is october 12th 2020 and we're gonna do a reading we're gonna read as much of it as we can of salvin Noren, the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum by dm turner and this is the book that we're gonna have a read through okay here's my copy awesome this is actually a copy that i picked up on the cheap about four weeks ago or so actually i bought it about uh i should turn this on <laughs> i keep on forgetting to turn on the audio for this there we go there we go let me turn on the audio because i do want to record this as well actually what i'm going to do i'm going to hold off on this because we're going to record it as we do the reading okay so i'm going to turn this on if i forget remind me that we will be doing uh we have to turn on the audio for this uh, let me pop out the chat for now because i'm going to interact with the chat uh, while we wait for notifications to go out and then once i start doing a reading uh, you guys can just kick back and uh, just listen i guess and seriously we'll try to read as much of it as we can okay so this is a copy that i picked up on the cheap the ridiculously good price insanely good price um i was lucky to get my hands on this reader copy i guess it's uh, as far as good you know books goes it's it's on the rougher side not that rough really let me pull it out but not bad okay and this book is one of the books that i actively try to collect it's a very small book okay and the author for this is a pseudonym dm turner okay. and the book is called salvinorin the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum okay. and uh it's an important book it's one of the most important books written in the realm of entheogens uh on the realm of psychonauts i've already read this book at least twice before and I was introduced to this book back in 2000 okay and uh, Eduardo how are you doing I was introduced to this book back in 2000 when I was introduced to Salvia de Venorum, okay which I explored and over the last 20 years I've actively collected this book as well as the other book that DM Turner wrote DM Turner wrote only two books unfortunately he passed away um, in the mid late 1990s and you can read why I got two additional copies of this book and these are really good copies uh, they're they're very nice copies these two and I put them in mylar and uh, the backing boards the comic book backing boards okay and here's the other one so these are treasures as far as i'm concerned for me anyway okay it is extremely important and the other book that dm turner wrote was the essential psychedelic guide by dm turner and he wrote this book before writing salvia divinora okay and this is the other book that he wrote that i have one two three four five six copies of okay it's the only other book that I actively collect. These are two books because as far as I'm concerned, DM Turner is one of the greatest teachers I have ever had on really uh, and uh, deserves a tremendous amount of respect. And as far as I see it, he was one of the most important psychonauts in, uh, in our time okay have a quick read of dm turner's wiki entry for a mini cautionary tale you all <laughs> neuro blossom indeed okay 
be careful. This is not a recommendation of anything. This is sharing information. Are there any psychedelic guides out there? I just took a peek on Larry's. Yeah, um, Leary, Timothy Leary, uh, Ram Dass, Alan Watts, um, Terence McKenna, of course, Watson. Uh, there's a few of them, right? And many of them uh, happen to be uh, from the United States. Uh, Watson was uh, Watson or Watson 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 not Watson Watson was a uh, UK I believe uh, but many of them uh, uh, growth is good too and many of them were from the United States and one of the reasons I believe many of them for United States information not endorsement this is not an endorsement this is sharing information okay reading a book an important book and at the beginning of this book there's a little disclaimer and I'll we'll read through this whole thing right but let me read this this little note here okay and it says notice okay the information contained herein is a report on the latest experimental research with a recently discovered compound and is presented for informational purposes only the author and publisher do not advocate the use of salvin salvinorin a or any other substance and neither does chicho okay important thank you elder god and this book by the way was written in 1996 and there's only one copy of uh one print of it as is there's only one print of the essential psychedelic guide because um dm turner ended up passing away uh, experimenting with ketamine in a bathtub bad idea and his family does not uh, did not support his experimentation for what I understand uh, and they decided not to have this book or the other book available for second printing but it is available to read for free online Eduardo thank you very much for the twitch prime sub five months mm -hmm. my salvia trip was crazy uh, magic of bronson alert this uh, book talks about some of the trip reports there are some trip reports here of dm turner okay however dm turner was one of the first people that actually was able to extract out the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum they called it salvinorin which is the pure uh, active ingredient of salvia divinorum and i personally would not recommend going that direction at all uh, because these are considered to be teaching plants entheogens especially salvia divinorum it was used as a entheogen to introduce people to the shamanistic world and it is considered the teaching plant and there's multiple names for it maria pastora uh diviner sage uh salvia divinorum salvia and there's a couple other names that it goes by right uh and it is considered to be the teaching plant uh, to introduce people to the realm of entheogens and i doubt if we're going to read this whole book today there's about 57 pages okay uh, da, 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 da. and here's the plant by the way this is what it looks like okay it is from the sage family it is a mint okay and there's 55 pages uh, i'm almost tempted to read the conclusion first and if you want should we read the conclusion first uh, because it's important to read the conclusion uh, the content here is very important do you have it i do have this it is a sage it is a sage let me read you guys the conclusion eduardo i know what you're asking <laughs> let me read the conclusion and after i read the conclusion i'm going to turn on the lapel mic and we're just going to dive into the reading gang and as people show up uh, i'm not going to keep tabs on the chat okay uh, because i just want to read the book and record it and see how much of it uh, we can read uh, use the force chicho <laughs> neuroblossom <laughs> eduardo i'm sorry i'm not aware of the legal i i don't know i don't know tell you the truth right i use it in my uh, uh, cure, cure uh, curries uh, and elder god sage for sure 
Salvia divinorum, it is extremely bitter. It tastes like poison. But as if you know anything about, uh, for those of you watching, if you know if you know about foods and different types of foods you can eat and their neutral uh, nutritional value and their health benefits and stuff like this, bitter can be poison. It is also medicinal. Salvia divinorum is extremely bitter and it's not even bitter it's 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 very intense flavor okay uh, you definitely would not cook with salvia divinorum you definitely would cook with straight up sage right uh brian randolph hi chicho love plant medicine love psychedelic literature happy to be here lots of love lots of love brother lots of love brian and me too and and by the way gang uh one of the greatest sites online that has been active from day one really from the mid 1990s has been around is erowid use the information to your best advantage and there's a i provided a link in the in our discord page to erowid let me get it for you where you can read salvia divinora both of these books are available for free okay and uh let me get you the link for this book da, 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 da. Um, here it is i'm just going to copy the link uh, da, da. copy link location and i'm going to link this up for you guys gang and you can read the book for free on earwit as well as shroomery and some of the other uh psychedelic um entheo sites that share entheogens information and stuff like this and it is available for free and i highly recommend reading the whole thing the headache afterwards was killer though i smoked it out of pipe tasted awful um, i've never had headaches from it i'll uh, tell you the truth uh, consume water eat salvia divinorum is a detoxant makes you piss like a racehorse okay it purges you so the, and I will, by the way, the, one of the reasons I'm doing this reading is because the information needs to be shared. And at some point, I'm going to start a series of live streams and videos where I'm going to talk about my experience with Salvia Divinorum, which was 20 years ago. Uh, I went, uh, I consider Salvia to be one of my greatest teachers. So I'm going to do a series called uh, Sal Chicho Salvia Divinorum Chronicles, and I'll walk you through my experimentation with salvia divinorum it is an amplifier of everything else warning given i do not endorse this thing but warning given do not mix salvia with anything else it is an amplifier of everything else amplifies it to a level that you will you would it will catch you by surprise it comes up uh, thanks for the question elder god salvia divinorum grows naturally in oaxaca mexico okay so salvia divinorum grows in the mountains i believe near the rivers and stuff like this in oaxaca mexico and there are two main types of strains that are available in the general public for consumption that people are growing and they were mainly taken from cuttings salvia divinorum plant flowers seldom outside of Oaxaca. i've never been to Oaxaca, so i don't know how often it flowers there hopefully every year rarely uh do i understand it produces seeds and the seeds aren't very prolific they don't they don't bloom easily um okay so most of salvia that's around in the western world is taken from cuttings from two different strains one of them was from the 1990s the other one i believe from the 1960s plants should be used as medicine and healing benefits never use as food um mint <laughs> Uh, movie stream went like clockwork so good so good elder god and by the way if you're here new we did a movie uh stream like three hours ago four hours ago where we, where we picked uh six additional movies that we're going to watch this month and talk about them next month um and they're good picks they're fantastic picks next time i experiment with it i'll be using a bong instead a tragic bronson uh, well i'll share that information at a later date what i know of it let's read salvin salvinorin the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum tinctures i'll give you my take on the tinctures 
I'll give you my take on the tinctures gang what I'm going to do let me do this I'm going to turn on my the lapel mic because we are gonna upload this to oh yeah I should give you my intro let me give you my intro again <laughs> let me take the salvia picture down gang if you want to know what this is about and this is about my my thesis is on patreon as well I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o I don't put anything behind behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay my work is layered on mathematics because it is my opinion that the more people that are literate in the language of mathematics the better our world will be okay and as bill hicks says we can explore space both outer and inner together in peace okay so my main thesis is really laid out in patreon and the work that i've been sharing and if you want to follow this work you can I, like i said i don't put anything on paywalls everything's open right you can follow the work you get notifications and if you like what we're doing on the content that we're creating and if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure we continue to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang thank you for being here thank you for the discussions thank you uh for the feedback and thank you for subbing and following we do announce and mods thanks for taking care of business and we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter if you want to follow the work we do have our social networks thank you elder god on twitch all you got to do is come on our twitch page doesn't make a difference if we're live streaming or not you can go exclamation mark social and i'll give you our social uh links and all the links will be in the description of this video and audio once we load this up onto soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o okay and the audio should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this to bit and youtube it needs to go on youtube okay um it should be okay on youtube because it's a book fingers crossed the sensors don't nuke it and they don't nuke our channel in the process but it should be on there and we will load it up on there as well and you can support this work on youtube and bit by subscribing following turn on notifications sharing and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership with a button down there and for those of you who have been supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for your support and for the gang on patreon elder god i'm going to take these guys down okay let's bring out this up i'm going to turn on my recorder my audio recorder that way we can do a clean load on uh, soundcloud with the audio of this reading okay and i'm not going to interact with the chat anymore gang um, enjoy the reading i'll read as much as i can uh, until my voice is slowly disappearing or something or until i can't sit here in one position for too long or something else happens but we'll read uh, we'll see how far we get we will finish this book if we don't finish it today which i doubt we'll finish it today we weren't, we're not going to finish it today we will finish this book at some point okay maybe later this week maybe in future stream okay aside from that gang uh thanks for being here i hope you enjoy the reading uh, and pay attention to the warnings given pay attention to the history pay attention to how this is written this is about science this is about information this is not about partying this is something else this is something else and i will share my take on salvia de Venorum at some point okay gang let's begin test 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 
Okay, I'm just gonna do a little, just in case at some point I decide to link it up with the video, which I doubt right now. Just a little click. Cool. Test, test, test. Salvinorin, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum by DM Turner. Salvinorin, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum, copyright 1996 by Panther Press. ISBN 0-9642636 dash two dash nine library of congress catalog registration in progress first printing august 1996 printed in the united states of america dm turner is a trademark of panther press cover by richard hansen link communications design san francisco illustration by juan hannah john hannah all rights reserved. No part of this book may be reproduced in any manner without the writ written permission of the publisher. Notice, the information contained herein is a report on the latest experimental research with a recently discovered compound and is presented for informational purposes only. The author and publisher do not advocate the use of Salvinorin A or any other substance. Additional coffee, copies of this book may be ordered from Panther Press at the address below for $11.95, $9.95 plus $2 shipping handling, California residents at 70, 72 cents tax. The Essential Psychedelic Guide by D.M. Turner may be ordered for $14.95, $12.95 plus $2 shipping, California residents at 94 cents tax. For overseas orders, add an additional $3 shipping. For credit card orders, contact FC Book Company at 800-635-8883. Panther Press, 1032 Irving, number 514, San Francisco, California, 94122. Salvadoran, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum. Table of contents. Introduction, page 5. Salvia Divinorum, the plant and its history, page 7. The discovery of Salvadoran A, page 11. Dosage and methods of administration, page 13. Warnings, page 17. Effects and experiences, page 19. Salvador, Salvadoran A. Journeys, page 23. Bibliography, page 57. Introduction. Salvadoran A. is a primary psychoactive compound of Salvia Divinorum, a member of the sage family found in Mexico, Mexican state of Oaxaca. Salvinorin A is the most potent naturally occurring psychedelic known and in many ways the most enigmatic. Those using Salvinorin A find it frequently in, find it frequently induces experiences of an intensively level intensity level which is an order of magnitude beyond those experienced with any other psychedelic even DMT. The dimensions visited under the influence of Salvinorin A are described as extremely bizarre and varied, with several aspects not common to other psychedelic experiences. Many who have used Salvinorin A find the experience extremely unnerving, frightening, and overly intense. Most have no desire to repeat the experience, although there are few who have taken a liking to this entheogen and are working to develop a relationship with it. 
Early experiments by pioneering psychonauts suggest that access to benignly expen expansive realms, as well as new and very real dangers, are possible with this material. Salvinor A also presents us with an entirely novel chemical structure for psychedelic drug. It's the first psychedelic di diterpen to be discovered while nearly all other known psychedelics are alkaloids. The following pages discuss the history and botany of the rare and little known plant, Salvia divinorum, and the recent isolation of its immensely powerful active principle, Salvinorin A. Since the first human experiment with this substance three years ago, Salvinorin A has generated significant interest within the psychedelic community and promises to challenge our basic understanding of consciousness and the functioning of the mind. Presented here are results of the early human experiments with Salvador A, many in the form of first-hand reports, which give lucid descriptions of the bizarre and multifaceted worlds of Salvia Divinorum. Salvia divinorum, the plant and its history. Salvia divinorum is used by, by the Mazatec Indians living in a remote region of Oaxaca, where it first came to the awareness of Western researchers in the first half of this century. Little is known regarding the plant's use before this period, although there are there is some indication that it may have been used by the Aztecs in earlier times. The first description of this plant in Western literature was made by Swiss anthropologist Jean Basset Johnson in 1939. Johnson, who was investigating psilocybin mushrooms, mushroom use among, amongst the Maztecs, also noted their use of salvia divinorum in healing ceremonies. Salvia divinorum is a very rare plant being found in only a few ravine locations in the Sierra Mazateca mountains. The plant is easily propagated by cuttings, and during the past few decades, it has made its way into numerous bota botanical gardens and private collections around the world. Virtually all of the Salvia divinorum in circulation has been vegetatively propagated from two parent clones of this species. The first specimen was collected by R. Gordon Wasson in 1962. A second so-called palatable strain was collected by Brett Blosser in 1991. The palatable variety is actually still quite bitter, although less so than the Wasson clone. There are a few other strains being maintained, some of which were grown from seed, but these are not in general circulation. Cuttings of salvia divinorum placed in a jar of water will begin rooting within two to three weeks. When the roots have reached about one inch, the cuttings may be transferred to pots. Salvia divinorum likes humidity and moist, moisture, moderate but indirect sunlight, and warm temperatures. In most parts of the United States, it will grow best in a greenhouse and it appreciates frequent misting. Too much sunlight will turn the leaves a pale green. If the leaves curl up and dry at the edges, it is a sign that the temperature is too warm for the amount of humidity they are receiving. The plants should be kept from freezing at all times, although they may grow back after a light frost that does not freeze the roots. Salvia divinorum grows into a vine-like bush with branches frequently reaching 7 to 10 feet in height before bending over under their own weight, oft, often rooting where they fall. The plant has jagged edges, edged leaves that reach 4 inches to 6 inches in length. 
The amount of leaf is typically sparse in proportion to the stems, and often the plants have a slightly straggly appearance. The stems are square shaped and hollow with winged edges. Under proper growing conditions, the leaves have a beautifully deep, rich, almost velvet like sheen and appear quite sensuous. In the fall, Salvia divinorum produces delicate flowers with white col corollas and purple uh, cli cliaxes. Salvia divinorum sets seeds rather infrequently, and only on rare occasions have these seeds proven to be viable. It is thought by many botanists that Salvia divinorum is a cultigen. It is not known to exist in the wild, and the few patches that are known in the Sierra Mazateca appear to be the result of deliberate planting. A Mazatec shaman informed Wasson that the Indians believe that the plant is foreign to their region and do not know from where it came. And if Salvia divinorum is a hybrid, there are no commonly held theories on what its prospective parents may be. Among, amongst the Mazatecs, Salvia divinorum, diviner sage, is known under such names as, as Ska Maria Pastora and Herba Maria, which translates as the herb of Mary or leaves of Mary the shepherdess. In a recent paper, Juan Ott has noted that the Mazatecs lack an in, indigenous name for Salvia divinorum, both the Christian theme of mary as well as sheep having been introduced to the region during the spanish conquest the mazatecs also use a method of consuming this plant that does not efficiently utilize its psychoactive content and seem to be generally unaware of its tremendous potency based on this information and the likelihood of its being a cultigen Ott has suggested that Salvia divinorum may be a post-conquest introduction to the Sierra Mazateca. However, it has also been suggested initially by R. Gordon Wasson that Salvia divinorum may be the Aztec plant Pipilzitzitli, an entheogen that was briefly, uh, briefly described by a 17th century Spanish Friar. Ott has found that the little information available regarding Pipilzitzi supports this hypoth hypothesis while ruling out several other plants that have been suggested as candidates for this Azateca sacrament. R. Gordon Wasson, the famed entheo entheobotanist who introduced psilocybin mushrooms to Western society was also the first to personally describe an experience with Salvia divinorum. In July of 1961, he participated in a healing ceremony performed by, performed by the Mazatec Corandura. Wasson ingested the squeezed juice of 34 pairs of leaves and described the results as coming on sooner than the mushrooms being less sweeping and lasting a shorter time it did not go beyond the initial effects of the mushrooms dancing colors in elaborate three-dimensional designs in end quote in 1962 wasson was joined in oaxaca by swiss pharma pharmacologist albert hoffman inventor inventor of lsd who also first isolated psilocybin from mushrooms gathered in this same region. Hoffman brought an alcohol extract of Salvia divinorum back to Switzerland, where he attempt to, attempted to isolate the active compound. He was unsuccessful, finding the extract to no, finding the extract to no longer be active and suggested that the plant's active principle was unstable. The discovery of Salvadoran, Sal, Salvadoran A. 
there was little research performed on salvia divinorum during the following two decades. Salvinorin A was first isolated in 1982 by Alfred Ortega, Alfredo Ortega, while performing a systematic chemical search for novel uh, terpenoid compounds within the genus Salvia. Ortega's research was not related to and did not investigate this plant's psychoactive properties. A group led by Lendor Valdez, who was attempting to discover the psychoactive compounds of Salvia divinorum, separately isolated the same compound in 1984. The Valdez group, however, only tested Salvinorin A by administering injections to mice. Although these experiments suggested that Salvinorin A was the main psychoactive compound of the plant, the Valdez group remained unaware of its extra extraordinary potent effects on humans. In June 1993, Daniel Siebert discovered the strikingly powerful effects of Salvinorin A following the smoking of an extract which he had produced. Prior to this, prior to producing the extract, Siebert had been experimenting with ingestion of salvia divinorum and smoking the dried leaves. Although these experiments allowed him to enter a psychedelic world, he felt that a much vaster dimension was waiting beyond the state produced by these methods of consumption. He began a series of experiments in producing concentrated extracts and trying various methods of administration. During his experiments, Siebert felt the plant's spirit, spirit was issuing a kind of intuitional guidance, encouraging him to continue with the extraction process and discover a means of achieving a full salvia experience. Pure Salvinorin A is desirable because it permits one to experience intense psychedelic effects which are often elusive when using the whole plant material. In particular, when smoking dry salvia divinorum leaf, many people fail to achieve more than a mild effect, although few find this method quite satisfactory. In his recent book, in his recent book, Pharmacopoeia, Dale Pendrell indicates that one may need to work with a plant for some time before feeling its effect. The ally she can be shy. Sometimes she has to sorry, quote. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Dale Pendrell indicates that one may need to work with a plant for some time before feeling its effects. Quote, the ally she can be shy sometimes she has to get known uh, she has to know you for a while before she will come out and say hello but once she appears are are there any who are more direct end quote when smoking dry salvia divinorum leaf it is important that the entire quantity be consumed in one or two large hits if one hopes to obtain significant effects Smoking it in the manner one normally smokes a joint normally produces no more than a mild buzz. Siebert found that the leaves harvested during the warmer months of the year were at least twice as potent as those harvested during the winter. John Grober and the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and Science recently performed HPLC tests which yielded about 1.5 and 2.2 milligram salvia salvinorin a per gram of dry salvia divinorum leaf with lower amounts appearing in the stems and traces in the roots earlier experiments by siebert have yielded up to 4.4 milligrams salvia salvinorin a per gram of dried leaf the dried leaf equals approximately 13 percent of the fresh weight Siebert also describes uh, discovered that when ingesting salvia divinorum its active compound are absorbed primarily through contact with the oral uh, mu mucosa 
his experiments showed that significant entheogenic experiments were produced by chewing eight to ten large leaves three grams each fresh weight and holding them in the mouth for 10 minutes while quickly swallowing the same amount of material produced no noticeable effects in essence where salvia divinorum was administered by Aztecan shamans most westerners who reported def definite psychoactive eff effects were given 50 to 100 leaves reports on the plant's psychoactivity were inconsistent and much of what was absorbed by those who felt its effects may have been through the oral mucus mucosa during the process of chewing and consuming the leaves shortly after discovering salvadoran a a's effects Sieber sent the sample to david nicholas who initiated a nova screen receptor site screening the screening results were in contrast to those of all previously tested psychedel psychedelics salvinorin a did not affect any of the receptors receptor sites tested which included all of the likely known receptor sites for other psychedelics dosage and method of administration salvinorin a can be effectively consumed by inhaling the vaporized crystalline powder or by smoking providing the crystalline powder has been placed on a substrate such as dried salvia divinorum leaf used in this manner the effects of salvinorin a can be distinctly felt from as little as 200 to 500 micrograms most who have tried salvinorin a have reported full effects at a range between 800 and 1200 micrograms the distinction of full effects is arbitrary as the intensity and diversity of the experience increases with the dosage it should also be noted that as with any substance there are a few people who will be usually sensitive to salvinorin a and will require smaller amount to produce the same level of effects ought has indicated that salvinorin a can also be taken sublingually and is active in even smaller doses with as little as 100 to 250 micrograms producing noticeable effects ought use the one percent solution of salvinorin a in acetone in this sublingual sublingual test and also reported that DMSO can be used as a solvent for this purpose. By comparison, the most potent previously known natural psychedelic, 5-MeO-DMT and uh, uh, psilocin are typically used in doses of 5 to 10 milligrams salvinorin a is approximately 10 times the potency of these compounds and nearly as potent as the semi-synthetic psychedelic lsd the effects of salvinorin a intensify sharply as the dose is increased as has been noted by several people who have used over one milligram if you have tried doses around two milligrams and had experiences of fero ferocious intensity which they had no desire to repeat the largest single dose reported is siebert's initial smoking of approximately two milligrams of salvinorin a most of the early experiments with salvinorin a were performed by inhaling the vaporized crystal using the following technique the salvinorin a was placed on the center of a piece of thick aluminum foil which was heated from below with a butane micro torch or coat jet flame lighter as the salvinorin a turned to a white vapor the vapors were inhaled through a 15 millimeter diameter glass tube this technique requires careful performance if one inhales before the crystal has been melted 
the solid material will be taken into the mouth and will not produce the desired effect however if one waits more than a moment after the vapor begins to appear it will disperse and be lost to the atmosphere there were several reported misfires from people who were not successful in this procedure some of these people suspected the substance was not very potent increased the dose and were quite shocked by the intensity of what they were subsequently propelled into i came across a sim simpler procedure for this process which is to use a conventional hash oil pipe a hash oil pipe is made by creating a bubble or bowl at one end and a glass tube with an opening at the top although hash oil is no longer commonly available these pipes can occasionally be found in stores a hash oil pipe allows better visibility of the melting and vaporizing and better confined and better confinement of the vaporized material against escaping without being inhaled even with a hash oil pipe the techniques requires precision the use of micro torch or jet flame lighter is essential not only due to salvinorin a's high boiling point but also because of conventional lighter lighter will coat the outside of the pipe in carbon obscuring visibility of the melting vaporization process i found that the flame must be continually moved over the bottom of the bowl until the material has melted these torches are hot enough to cause the bowl to quickly expand and buckle if the flame is kept at one point on the bowl this causes the solid salvinorin a crystals to disperse over a large area inside the bowl which does not allow for efficient vaporization it is important that only self-extinguishing torches or lighters are used in this process as salvinorin a takes effect very rapidly one does not want to be traveling through hyperspace while a lit torch is burning at their side recently salvinorin a has been dis distributed in another form which is much easier to use the material i've used contained one milligram of salvinorin a dissolved onto 25 milligrams of dried and powdered salvia divinorum leaf this concentrated formulation is much easier to handle than pure crystalline form the concentrated formulation may be smoked in a regular pipe using a regular lighter however a dedicated pipe should be used for smoking salvinorin a as subsequent smoking of other herbs in the same pipe may induce an unwanted journey Indiv individual doses can now be respon responsibly measured on a scale of 100 milligrams one one hundredth of a gram resolution such as the os centogram quad beam balance i've prepared one milligram doses of salvinorin a by first weighing 50 milligrams of of the sal salvinorin a on salvia divinorum leaf concentrate and then visually dividing this amount into two equal piles anyone working with this material should be accurately aware that even small variations in the dose size can produce dramatic increases in the intensity of the experience pure crystalline salvinorin a requires a sophisticated analytical balance for the measurement of individual doses i have used the salvinorin a on salvia divinorum leaf formulation several times now and have noticed no difference between this and vaporizing the same amount of material material in pure crystalline form siebert also performed tests using other methods methods of administering pure salvinorin a this included placing salvinorin a in the mouth and dissolving salvinorin a in a solvent and spraying into the nose the effectiveness of these methods varied widely with repeated applications of the same method.
In some cases, a large percentage of the material taken seemed to have its way into the bloodstream. At other times, uh, only minimal effects were produced. This presented a significant risk. If the dose was increased to the point where one would normally achieve full effect, equivalent to smoking one milligram, there was a risk of absorbing a larger percentage of the material, which could produce an experience of shocking intensity. This possibility led Siebert to suspend his research in this area. There are currently a number of people in the psychedelic community experimenting with different methods of ingesting sal salvia divinorum, including the oral administration of crude extract. It is likely that a reliable method will soon be developed, which allows one to experience fuller effects than can be easily obtained through chewing the whole leaves, but without the intensity and sudden onset of smoked salvinorin A. Warnings. As mentioned earlier, most who have tried salvinorin A find this effects extremely unsettling and have no desire to repeat the experience. This response comes from people who are highly experienced in the use of entheogens, including many who are writers and leaders in the psychedelic community from the 1960s to present. It is unlikely that salvinorin A will ever become a popular substance and many will find using the non-extract plant material more to their liking. In contrast to using pure salvinorin A, use of the whole plant material, particularly by ingestion, produces a gentler, longer lasting experience that many have found easier to absorb and have derived greater benefit from used in this manner salvia divinorum is also much less overwhelming and is not likely to present many of the dangers described below currently salvinorin a has been used by a relatively small group of people information regarding its possible effects on humans is still quite limited and there is little known regarding the possible toxicity of this substance particularly at higher doses information on the experience of about 50 users has been informally gathered and summarized here also presented are some insights of obtained during approximately 30 sessions using salvinorin a the use of salvinorin A presents some extreme dangers which are not encountered on other psychedelics. After smoking salvinorin A, some users will stand up and begin walking or moving around, running into objects that are in their path. People in this state typically move in an agitated manner and seem to be struggling with the experience. Apparently, there have they have no recognition of their surroundings when this is taking place. This response has been noted in only a few people, about 5% of the first 50 subjects. A more common occurrence is for one who has just smoked salvinorin A to not recognize that they are heavily in inebriated and begin to walk around. In these instances, the user, the user is able to perceive his or her surroundings and moves around without bumping into objects. Several people in this situation have wanted to leave the premises where they were conducting their journey, desiring to either drive or walk to another location and needed to be dissuaded from doing so. Often people who walk around during the journey do not recall doing so once the effect effects wear off the presence of a so, 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 sober person to an act as a sitter during the sessions has proven very important in dealing with situations such as those described above seabird has witnessed reactions of this type of state quote when the dose goes above 500 to 1000 micrograms 
the effects can be very alarming i have seen people get up and lunge around the room falling over furniture babbling in comp incomprehensible nonsense and knocking their heads into walls several people have tried to wander out of the house when the experience is over they have no memory of any of this in fact they usually remember very different events to an outside observer people in this situation have a blank look in their eyes as if no one is present it is also common for people to have a facial expression which is probably best described as being like that of a frightened animal end quote end quote there is also potential psychological danger with salvinorin a i can confirm from my own experience that it is in in instantly it that it can instantly obliterate any reference to sanity logic or even the idea of existing and make one feel that there there that either oneself or the entire universe has gone entirely and permanently crazy occasionally people who have been given salvinorin a even highly experienced psychedelic users feel that a bad joke has been played on them by whoever gave them the substance one person who tries salvinorin a who is quite experienced with dmt and most other psychedelics remarked quote it made dmt look like a water pistol at a dose 50 to 100 times less end quote the intensity of a salvinorin a journey is often experienced as being an order of magnitude more potent than smoked dmt in much the same way that dmt sees it seems an order of magnitude more potent than a typical lsd journey a large percentage of salvinorin a users also report that the fear factor is much greater than with dmt which is saying a lot i feel that no person no matter how experienced with other psychedelics or altered states of mind can be prepared for the intensity of a full strength salvadoran a journey it is common for users to be shocked amazed and frightened at finding themselves in a state they cannot possibly conceive of being in, induced by any psychedelic substance certainly the most cautious way for one to approach the substance is to work with the whole plant material without attempting to use its active principle effects and experiences many who use salvinorin a spend the peak of their journey lying down or reclining apparently engrossed in an internal world at the onset of the experience there is often a complete separation of consciousness from the body and personality similar to what occurs with ketamine what is experienced about this is quite variable possibly more so than with other psychedelics the vision seen with salvinorin a seems particularly real and convincing quite often people accept expect these visions as reality and forget they are under the influence of a psychedelic substance siebert has reported on a number of themes which are frequently experienced with salvadoran a one becoming objects yellow plaid french fries fresh paint on a drawer a plant leg a ferris wheel etc two visions of various two-dimensional surfaces films and membranes three revisiting places from the past especially childhood four loss of the body and or identity five various sensations of motion or being pulled or twisted by forces of some kind six uncontrollable hysterical laughter seven overlapping realities the perception that one is in several locations at once 
There has been little written regarding first-hand experiences with Salvia Divinorum or Salvinorum A. Although recently, reports from individuals have appeared in publications such as the Entheogen Review and on Internet BBS such as Alt Drugs. Alt Drugs. Dale Pendrell is one of the few to have taken a liking to Salvia Divinorum. His book, Pharma Pharmaco Pio, devotes an entire chapter to it and offers many poetic insights into the nature of this mis mysterious ally. Quote, some, quote, some say it is a sensual, sensual and tactile thing. Some say it's about temporary and temporality and dimensionality, that it's about time travel. Some say it's about the root energy network or that it's about becoming a plant. It's like a mirror with no frame. Some don't see it at all. Some do, but don't like what they see. Consciousness has to do with energy and light. It is really very simple. Neither animals nor people have consciousness. It is plants that have consciousness. Animals get consciousness by eating plants." End quote. These poems may seem arcane to those not familiar with the Salvia Divinorum experience, but are likely to be easily grasped by those who are. An experimenter who chewed salvi Salvia Divinorum leaf reports in the Entheogen Review five minutes of uncontrollable laughter, followed by various, quote, similar uh, visions, quote, similar to those of fantasy painting or ancient oriental places the alhambra of grenada a large almost endless empty hall with beautiful arches and hundreds of columns all in a strange gloomy blue gray light with colors of deep magic and majesty end quote this person later went on to feel as if he'd become a tree similar to an oak he experienced his bark as a sense organ and remarked quote while it was happening i had no doubt that a tree feels that way end quote subsequent to this his, subsequent to this his experience changed from entheogen to aphrodisiac an excellent description of encounters with salvia divinorum can be found in a tape by brett blosser while on a cave hunting exp expedition in the Sierra Mazateca in the late 70s. Blosser quite accidentally came upon Mazatecs who used this plant and was able to participate in several sessions with native shaman. He had the opportunity to receive instructions and learn about the plant's use over a span of several years during which he periodically revisited the area. In his tape, Blosser described the uses for Salvia Divinorum within the Mazatec culture, which includes med medicinally to treat both physical and psychic illnesses and in divining the future, the cause or cure for an illness and information about friends, family and enemies. He provides insightful descriptions of his journeys and of the preparation and guidance of his sessions. The curan cur curandero who administer Blosser's journey works with psilocybin mushrooms more frequently than Salvia divinorum and indicated that Salvia divinorum is too fast for most people. Prior, prior to his extraction research with Salvia divinorum, Lender Valdez, together with Jose Diaz, had taken part in ceremonies conducted by Mazateca shaman during which they ingested leaves from the plant. Valdez reported the following vision in an article appearing in the Journal of Entheopharmacology. Quote, I see something between a cross and a sword which is covered with gold and has many jewels. It has everything inside, lights, 
animals, people, plants, everything of many colors like a picture. Very, very vivid colors. End quote. Valdez characterized his experiences with Salvia Divinorum as involving sensations of quote, flying, floating, traveling rapidly through space, twisting and spinning, as well as heaviness or lightness of the body. End quote. Later that evening, Valdez's visions continued. He saw a purplish light that changed into a bee or moth like shape, which became a pulsating sea um, anem, an, anemone. Anemonon. The imaginary expanded imagery expanded into a desert landscape full of moving prickly pear cactus shapes. Suddenly he found himself standing in a bizarre landscape with brightly colored flowers, talking to a man wearing a shining white robe who was either shaking or holding his hand. Next to him was something that resembled the skeleton of a giant stick model airplane made from rainbow colors, colored inner tubing. The reality of what he was seeing amazed him." End quote. The following experience was reported on the internet from a person who had smoked two deep bong hits of dry Salvadoran leaf. Quote, there was an edge made of something between plastic and flesh set about a foot in front of my face, running diagonally upward to the right. I could touch this edge and it made resistance when I, when I did it. Its visual qualities were a bit less intense initially, pastel colors, some glistening. I start to pull at it, peeling it, peeling it back, and it seemed then that the stuff was simply reality. I collapsed into a couch, closed my eyes, and unfold the fold, unfolded the folds of this stuff, or rather it unfolded me. You know how it goes, very reflexive, a very sensual, sexual experience, moist, soft, and hard at all, it, hard all at once or a distinct sense of losing my mental faculties one by one in very specific levels until I could not form a thought. Space had become very pe peculiar, rich with crevices, stretching far down past what I could see. At this point, I felt uneasy. A voice called up from one of the crevices, quote, do you want to stay like this forever? End quote. I called out, no. And the voice replied, then stop doing that. That I looked, I took to mean the salvia. Then I fused with a piece of furniture, a very odd experience, like I was simply the hidden other leg of the furniture, completely completing the gestalt but in a very immediate bodily way end quote a recent issue of the entheogen review reports on one person's journey following the smoking of two dry salvia divinorum leaves consumed in two large hits from a water pipe quote i felt like I felt like and saw myself as a tree. Branches began growing out of my body, filling up the room, and I felt and saw my roots growing all over the floor and onto out beneath the floor. At this point, I could no longer remember if I had smoked anything or if my body had just flipped on me. My room had turned into artwork from where the wild things are, a kid's book, the the room was a garden of geometric twines and leaves from my own body." End quote. This trip was much more intense than any previous Salvia Divinorum journeys of this person, who also reported seeing entities including, quote, one who was pushed, pushing a wheelbarrow along one of my vines while smiling at me. 
end quote. My own experiments with Salvinorin A began in December 1994, following a highly coincidental meeting with Daniel Siebert. I first learned of Salvinorin A when a copy of the Entheogen Review arrived in the mail containing Siebert's article. The following day, I went to Los Angeles on business matters and to visit friends, and quite out of the blue was introduced to Siebert by someone I just met that day. The occasion of this unlikely meeting gave me assurance that I was meant to work with this powerful entheogen. Despite Siebert's numerous reports of those who found the journey har harrowingly unpleasant. takes us to page 23 okay so we've read this much and what we're about to get into and I'm not sure if we're gonna do it right now is Salvador and journeys page 23 and these are basically trip reports okay and from the table of contents we're here right now let me show it to you my just sitting in this position holding the book up is stressing the back for sure right so we've read all of this and we're here right now salvadoran a journeys okay so i would like to do this in one shot right so i don't want to start this section yet i would like to do this on another live stream because what this is, is basically, and I remember these well, are different journeys of DM Turner, journey number two, okay, where he incorporated different psychoactives and theogens with the Salvia Divinorum journeys. But what I will do before we read, like we won't read the first journey okay but what we'll do we'll read the intro two pages to it okay two and a half pages to it so you know what will be coming up in the next live stream whenever we end up doing it maybe this week and when i do the next live stream i'll reread these two and a half pages again so we have all of the journeys in one shot okay and then the last bit is just the bibliography right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to read the two and a half pages for the salvia salvinorn a journeys okay starting from page 23. i'm looking for the cool sentences about ins instant instantly obliterates it does elder god i can attest to it i can attest to it okay and yeah the trip journeys in this and trip journeys that you can read online are quite intense or could be quite intense and mild at the same time right salvador a journeys my journeys with salvador a hereafter called salvador salvador salvinorin are more varied than those of any other psychoactive i've used and include include both my best and worst psychedelic journeys my understanding on the content of these journeys have evolved with repeated use certain ideas and perceptions have become clearer as i've become familiar with the with the territory although the entire experience still remains largely in, largely incomprehensible and there exists a feeling of having just stepped over the threshold into an immensely vast dimension a description of the general framework of most of my salvinoran journeys is given below 
followed by excerpts of notes from my journeys. Also presented are reports from other experimenters' journeys, which will assist in offering a more comprehensive view of the realms available through Salvia Divinorum. My experiences with Salvin Norn have, can be divided into three phases or periods, the onset, trance, and return. These periods closely match the unfolding of a smoke DMT experience. Initial effects are felt within 20, 10 to 20 seconds, with the peak being reached in another 30 seconds or so. I usually stay at this peak in trance for 3 to 10 minutes, after which there is a 10 to 20 minute decline to baseline. When used with another psychedelic, the duration of a salvia salvinorn experience can be increased several fold. Salvinorn comes on with an in irresistibly powerful spiraling force, which is much stronger than that felt on any other psychedelic. During the onset, onset I felt I quickly fall into a trance while my body feels per permeated by needle-like anesthetic sensations. Both of these sensations are quite similar to what I feel during the onset of smoke NNDN DMT. Within second of this first phase, the Salvadoran separation separates my awareness from my body, similarly to what occurs with 5-MeO DMT or ketamine. Salvinorin is quite distinctive from ketamine. However, in that, like DMT, Salvinorin ex ex uh, exudes a strongly life-positive energy, where ketamine does not necessarily have this pre predilection. Following this, I go on an in, uh, internal journey while my body is lying down in trance. My experience or recollection of this second phase varies greatly. Sometimes I perceive the most co cosmic, wondrous, and detailed of universes, while at other times I recall absolutely nothing. In these moments of recalling nothing, I've often felt as though I only smoked the Salvinorn a few moments ago and have retained consciousness the entire time. I then look at a clock and realize five or ten minutes have passed and I cannot account, account for. I've developed a theory for this vast difference in experience, which I'll discuss later. The amount of time I spent in the trance and how high I am un, upon returning to bod bodily awareness varies with each journey. It seems that I am normally pulled out of the trance by some type of sound. At home, this may be a car passing by, while out in nature, it seems that a bird will chirp or a bug will fly around my head. In most instances, the sound which pulls me out of the trance seems like a distraction which is interfering with the experience. It is not surprising that the Mazatex recommend that it be done in quiet. There is a tendency for awareness to lock onto individual perceptions during the return phase and for these perceptions to appear to be filled to fill the entire universe. This has been particularly noted by Siebert and myself when music was being played during the trip. The portion of the journey immediately following the trance is often the most intense and leaves strongest impression. While coming out of the trance, the bod bodily anesthetic sensations often persist and are stronger when I come out of the trance prematurely. These feelings can be compared to the needles and pins sensation of trying to move an arm or leg which has fallen asleep. Following one journey, I wrote, quote, I must have willed myself to move and felt the anesthesia sensation gripping, gripping me firmly uh, 
with an almost cutting sensation. It was not exactly painful. It felt as though I was tightly gripped by millions of sharp fingernails applying minimal pressure. But if I moved, I would be cut to shreds." End quote. This can also be uh, experienced as a tearing sensation over the entire surface of the body. Siebert has described intensified feelings of this type of various sensations of motion or being pulled or twisted by forces of some kind. One occasion, on one occasion, these sensations have been very pleasant, closer to pendurels like soft cat paws pressing or like a bunch of birds, bird tongues lapping the mind or like tiny fingers the way ivy ivy fingers reach out to climb a wall the most constant internal experience in my salvadoran journeys is a draft draft drastic shift in my sense of identity and conscious perception at the onset of the experience my identity is completely dislodged from my body and familiar self following this I experience myself as existing but not as a body human or personality I usually find myself in some alternate dimension which can either closely resemble earth or be entirely alien quite often the words visited upon the influence of Salvador do not obey the laws of sight physics which may which are typically accustomed which we are typically accustomed to the action of the forces of gravity and momentum the dimension of time and the geometric structure construction of these worlds can be rather bizarre there is also an app apparent reduction in boundaries and the sensation that my being can literally enter and inhabit various objects including inanimate ones there have been numerous reports from people who have had quite vivid and convincing experiences of becoming objects such as a dresser drawer as i begin traveling these unusual dimensions i feel driven by forces which i don't fully understand but which i believe to be influenced by my set and setting at the point i come out of the trance external reality begins making an imprint on my experience and accelerates the return to normal awareness some of my more interesting journeys are described below and then it goes into the psychedelic trip reports the trip reports that he's written that we'll wait until we read on a future live stream and just so you guys know where i come from i shared a trip report um, a while back okay i believe i wrote a trip report that i had with salvia divinorum in uh let me see when i wrote this it's on my blog and it got accepted on at shroomery and Irowid. so it has uh da, 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 uh it is also online available on uh, shroomery and earwit as well and i called it breaking the master cleanse with brazilian cubenzes and salvia divinorum okay and i'll link this up if you guys want to read a trip report or you can definitely go online i linked up um, provide the link for um, this book that is available to be read for free on um, on earwit and the shroom and uh, and the shroomery and other sites as well okay so that was uh, what i'm sharing there is one of the trip journeys that i decided to write and i've written i have notes on other ones i have done over the years um, that i got introduced to salvia the one like 20 years ago uh experiment with it quite heavily but this is the one that i decided to write out as a tribute specifically to both the books 
that dm turner wrote both this book the essential psychedelic guide and this book so this trip report that i wrote is a tribute to dm turner and i decided to share it okay i have found the pdf of this book i'm reading with you now awesome elder god awesome uh quote found it it can in instantly obliterate so this is again from something we read it can instantly ob obliterate any reference to sanity logic or even the idea of existing and make one feel that either oneself or the entire universe has gone entirely and permanently crazy 100 percent accurate okay and just so you guys know this is not an endorsement i'm going to read this little notice at the beginning of this book notice the information contained herein is a report on the latest experimental research with a recently discovered compound and is presented for information purposes only the author and publisher do not advocate the use of salvadoran a or any other substance and neither does chicho neither do i i listened to that while practicing samba and it sounded great eduardo awesome awesome gang should we call the stream let's call the stream up time that's uh basically three hour live streaming so my voice is giving a little bit uh raw and i'm a little tight so i need to go for a walk and do a little stretch we will finish reading this book okay we will finish reading this book and maybe we'll read the essential psychedelic guide as well at some point uh, but it is something that is extremely important and at some point i will start sharing my experiences with salvia donorma's live streams q a sessions and uh, stories i have some stuff written that would be interesting to share uh, for those of you who followed who subbed uh, during this live stream apologies if i wasn't checking chat thank you for the follows and the sub and uh, as for who i am you can find my work what i'm sharing i've took lsd nice one uh, mara you can follow this work uh, on patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywall everything is creative commons share and share alike for those of you who are supporting this work on patreon thank you for your support i hope you're liking the content that is being created and it will be heavily layered on mathematics once we go into full production and everything that we are doing so thank you for your support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, be here doing these live streams. Twitch is where you want to be at. Mods, thank you very much for taking care of business, for being here. Elder God, thank you for being here. It is in large part because of the mods activities on this channel that we're able to do what we are doing on twitch and we appreciate it very much and for those of you who are following or subscribing through twitch and are coming to these live streams thank you for participating and thank you for coming here and thank you for the support i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter if you want to follow this work you can follow this work on those social platforms and we do share some additional content there as well we will be uploading this live stream the audio the reading specifically on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and uh, for that i'm just going to take the reading and just have the reading and not the discussion on there okay and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video this live stream to both bitshoot and soundcloud and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by subscribing by following by sharing by liking by 
participating in comments and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button there somewhere and thank you to those of you who've decided to support this work by joining youtube membership aside from that gang fantastic day today two live streams and uh they were great uh elder god my pleasure chicho i like to have something to do on my day off awesome awesome i hope you guys have a fantastic uh start to your week and thank you for being here on your day off elder god gang i'll announce the next set of live streams probably towards the end of the week maybe on the weekend and we'll continue with the next set we're going to start next week okay gang thanks for being here and thank you for the support bye everyone so your pop is safe from new rules you get to stay open elder god sweet sweet bye everyone <laughs>